How's the heat there, Raven? It's time to get familiar with your weapons and gear. The tactical visor we supplied provides a live feed from your scope. It's equipped with an advanced combat display. You'll be able to scan terrain as well as tag and track hostiles. We've also given you some extra tools. We'd prefer it if you didn't break them. Now run through their features on our live fire range. Once you're happy, we can move on to the mission itself. Calibrate the mask's display to your biometrics. There's a training rifle ahead by the OP. Pick it up and let's pick you take a prone position. Switch on your binocular display to enable hostile tags. Tag the target straight ahead. You're 12 o'clock. Tagging hostiles will give you their range and keep track of their movements. Your scope also. The upper left quadrant in your scope is a rangefinder. The target's height on that scale indicates their distance from you. It'll change according to your zoom ratio. Focus on your breathing. Splash this target. Hit. Go for the next one. Next target, you're 12, 300 meters. I know you're used to doing the maths for range winds. Good. Raven, find your next target. Adjusting your scope to target's range will improve accuracy. I've marked the distance for you. Set your scope elevation to 400. By calibrating your scope properly, you won't have to manually adjust your aim up or down to compensate for the distance and bullet drop. Good. Splash four more now. There's plenty of ammo. Restock or reload when you need it. I know you're a marksman, but use your binoculars to tag hostiles before taking the shot. It'll give you distance to target to zero your scope. Excellent. First target down. Two more to go. Not bad. One more to go. Your scope is zeroed now. We can move on to the next stage of familiarization. Head to the door behind you. Move through the door to the next area. We have some additional kit to familiarize yourself with. First up, Falcon Drone. Pick it up. Select it from your inventory. The Falcon can see when you can't. There are two enemies behind that metal wall ahead. Locate and tag them with the drone. It has a limited battery life. But will Richard, the drone can hack CCTV boxes. We're looking into possible upgrades later. There's a CCTV access point in the building below. Send the drone in and hack it. That interference is caused by a jamming tower. You're likely to encounter more of them during your missions. They're heavily armored, so don't try to destroy them. Just keep the drone out of their jamming range. Your mask's hood will indicate when you're close to one. Thankfully, their heavy armor does limit signal range. Use the drone to find an alternate route to the CCTV box. Hacking one access point gives you control of all the cameras connected to it. It also prevents them detecting you. Any hostiles you spot on camera will be tagged in your hood too. That's handy. You're up to speed on the drone now. There's another piece of kit on the table. Have a look. These auto turrets sync with your hood. You still need to mark hostiles for the turret manually, but it can then fire at your command. Once placed, you set it up via your mask's binocular. Focus on the hostiles you tag with the drone. Then you need to mark them for your turret. Remember, turret marking is set exit binocular mode. That's all the new gear covered. We have a spot set up to test special ammo too. Or you can head straight out. There's a truck waiting in the back. <laughs> 